Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now, if radio related gadgets which incorporate onboard MCUs interest you, then this is for you. This is a LilyGo T TWR Plus Revision 2. Now, this particular version supports VHF, but there are actually four different versions available, which I'll go over shortly. Now, the onboard MCU is an ESP32S3. And the onboard radio device is an SA868 with firmware preloaded. The onboard display is a two color 1.3 inch OLED, which is fully customizable within software. Onboard buttons and controls consist of a rotary control, which also acts as a push button. There's another four buttons along the top right edge. One is the main reset button, then we have boot, power, and PTT. But of course, these can be reprogrammed in software to suit your needs. On the left side of the board, there's a USB-C socket, which can be used to power while testing and also provide a port for programming the firmware. An SD card slot is also provided on board if you need more storage for your application. Status LEDs are also found along with the edge of the PCB. And again, these can be programmed within software. Above the rear battery compartment, there is a GPS antenna, which provides a signal for the onboard GPS receiver. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are also supported on this device, so connectivity here is not an issue. To the right of the battery holder, there's a couple of header connections, one of which provides direct access to the SA868RF module. Although if you want to play around with the SA868 firmware, I'll suggest you get the open edition version. Now there's also an onboard speaker and microphone, which suggests this could be used as a walkie talkie. Well, you're right. This device actually ships with the walkie talkie demo firmware. The settings available within the firmware can be changed using the rotary control. Now these include TX and RX frequency, bandwidth, CTSS tones, and even squelch. Now the demo is fully working. So talking through another radio, you can hear my voice coming from the onboard speaker and then the other way around, transmitting from the TWR plus. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. This is M0 DQW testing the transmit on the T TWR plus revision two. This is with no emphasis and no high and low cut enabled. Uh, this is uh, M0DQW testing uh, on the T TWR Plus uh, with emphasis and high cut and low cut are now enabled. Uh, this is M0DQW testing. Now the GitHub page contains a folder called examples. This allows you to download all of the examples and then try them for yourself. You can use the Arduino IDE to open these .ino files and then just download the firmware to the device. Now, just be careful to choose the correct board type and under tools, make sure the correct board settings are set. You can see which are the board settings that need to be set on the front page of the TWR GitHub page. Now, as mentioned earlier, there's actually four versions of this board you can buy. The first two versions will be VHF and UHF where the SA868 firmware has been factory preloaded. Then you'll have another pair of VHF and UHF called the Open Edition. Now this is where the SA868 firmware has not been loaded, meaning you'll either have to create your own or download another one that a project has already created. However, at the moment, there's not really much availability for the Open Edition firmware. However, the reason why I've got two Open Edition versions as well as this is because the M17 and Open RTX project are currently working on some firmware which will allow you to transmit and receive M17 from one of these devices. Obviously, that's an ongoing project. And if you want to know more about that, just jump onto the M17 or OpenRTX Discord page where they have a separate group just talking about the TWR Plus device. Now, there's other projects which I've come across as well, such as SoftRF and even ESP32 APRS. However, none of them appear to be working fully at the moment, and we're just currently waiting for SoftRF to release their firmware called the Ham Edition. 
Now, when released, it should allow you to enter a call sign and then send APRS tracking packets. This is the GitHub page where you can find all the information on it. So just keep an eye on here for when that firmware has been released. Remember, you will need just the standard version of the TWR Plus. Now, one last thing to mention, and that's for those of you wondering if you could use something like this with all of its components exposed. Well, over on the OpenRTX GitHub page, someone has kindly designed a nice 3D printed case. Of course, this means you would either need a 3D printer, know someone that has a 3D printer, or use one of those online 3D printing services to get one, but it looks pretty neat. Now, I'll be printing some of these off very soon for myself and fitting them to my TWR devices. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video. Now, if you want to get one of these yourself, then I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, personally, I've got two VHF ones, which are the standard TWR Plus, and then I have two UHF versions, which are open edition. That's while I wait for the M17 firmware to be available. Then I can use it with my hotspot. Until the next video, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.